I am Dr. A. Sharda here. Namaste, I am Dr. Priya Chinnappa. We are both from the Department of Endocrinology and Diabetes from Manipal Hospital, Miller's Road. So, uh, you know, that's how the liver patients are managed. Now, frequently, you know, we hear about kidney disease and diabetes. Uh, can you tell us if kidney disease is diagnosed only with a high creatinine or can they have kidney disease with normal creatinine? Oh, that's a very interesting question because diabetic patients tend to have kidney problems especially if they have had uncontrolled diabetes and long term diabetes and there is a genetic that is the family history of diabetes with kidney disease in the family that is called diabetic kidney disease in the family. Like Dr. Priya just asked me, we can have kidney problem in patients with diabetes with normal creatinine. So, and it, this can be easily diagnosed by doing a routine urine examination and looking at the protein leak. So, if this protein leak is in fact the first indication of kidney problem in a diabetic. And fortunately, we are now having proven benefits of glucose lowering medications like SGLT2 inhibitors which can reverse the protein leak and also stop the progression to further development of diabetic kidney disease and kidney failure leading to increase in creatinine. Many of my patients are actually having good proteinuria has been uh, reversed or minimized and they are able to postpone the increase in the creatinine for many many years. Ah, that's very good. So early detection and monitoring for the proteinuria is uh, important. Now how do we manage the diabetes once the creatinine goes up? Okay, in the beginning like I said with only proteinuria, SGLT2 inhibitors are extremely good and the drug called metformin can also be safely used. But when the creatinine is a little up, they develop what is called mild to moderate liver failure. In that case, we can still use the SGLT2 inhibitors till the creatinine is manageable 1.4, 1.5 with a GFR of around 45 for some and 30 for some of the molecules and the GLP-1 analogs are also indicated up to a mild to moderate kidney problem only if the creatinine has increased to a stage of dialysis or the GFR is less than 30 to 15 then we need to use only insulin otherwise like in the liver disease initially we can use certain medications in people with diabetic kidney disease in fact it is beneficial for the kidney outcomes so like in end stage liver disease end stage renal disease you need to go on insulin but till such time there are a lot of medications and they can actually benefit isn't yes, it yes yeah.